Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. So today we're gonna be talking about how to grow massive ass shoulders. Yes, I'm talking about them shoulders that pop out the shirt, the hoodie, make it like you ain't got no neck. You know, you see them dudes at the gym, they ain't got no legs, but all upper body. That's what we talk about today, guys. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all wonderful content. Let's get right into it. What about building massive shoulders, right? You gotta understand the actual shoulder anatomy, okay? So there's gonna be three portions of the shoulder that you wanna hit when you're training shoulders. So the front delt, the medial delt, and then the rear delt. Basically, you know, that's how it is. You know, I can end the video right here. I'm not going to, you want, you want to hear me talk, right? Okay, so when you're training shoulders, you want the massive delts. You want you want the, you know, the good roundness to them. You're doing it the natural way, because we can talk about the unnatural way, the reason why they have huge, you know, them, them, them ugly looking delts. They ain't getting that though. But nonetheless, you want to really overemphasize volume training when it comes to building big shoulders, okay? A lot of people think when you're moving heavier weight with shoulders that that's how you get that that big look. Yeah, you're gonna build dense muscle when you're moving heavier weight with, with heavy shoulder training, but you can do more damage to the joint, to the AC joint, to, to your rotator cuff, and actually, actually reduce the amount of progress you're gonna have. So you wanna you train smarter, not harder when it comes to shoulders. All right, so for example, when you're doing a uh, military press or dumbbell military press, the, the best way to actually accentuate the shoulder or really get contraction in the muscle is to do more of a upward press motion, okay? But also, you wanna bring them slightly inward. Not until you go straight up, which you can do if you're going super lightweight just to get some blood into the muscle. When you do that, slight, that slightly that diamond shape uh, press, you're really hitting the front delt, causing it to contract more towards the outer rim where the medial delt connects to it. And then, so when we talk about medial delts, that's where you get most of that, you know, that good roundness to there. Side lateral raises. Dumbbell side lateral raises are some of the best exercises to hit that side delt. Honestly, they're, I think, you know, one of the, I want to say only ones, there's probably more, but you know, uh, you can do them with, with resistance bands, with dumbbells, you can do them on, on cable machines. I'm an old fashioned guy, I like the dumbbell raises. Uh, I think it's the best way to control weight. You get a good feeling with your body and also you get the way to strengthen and stabilize the shoulder, shoulder area. Um, and you want to really overdo those. Uh, the one of the best shoulder workouts I got was doing Ronnie Coleman's Mr. Olympia shoulder workout. And he, and it was, you see why his shoulders are massive. It was 20, 15, 12, 12. Um, and it went up to, I think, 20 sets. So the most I've ever done was 12 sets total of, all the, of that same rep scheme. And let me tell you, afterwards, you feel like you're on Olympia stage because your delts are on fire. All right, I mean, you guys gotta give it a shot. I'll actually post the workout um, in the link below, so I'll show you that. Lastly, the rear delts. Rear delts are neglected by everybody, no matter what skill level they're at, whether it's on the Olympia stage, whether it's physique, whether it's a classic physique. Rear delts are neglected everywhere. So I mean, you guys, bent over, uh, you know, raises are great. Um, cable raises, cross cable raises are great too to really hit the striation in the rear delt. Um, and hitting these three heads will cause your shoulders to grow, and also not to grow, also cause them to pop out, especially when your side laterals are big, like I previously said. But hitting all three is how you get full shoulder development. If you're just doing a dumbbell presses every workout or every shoulder day you're not doing anything making your front delts look big and everything else look lacking. So you're gonna have a big, meaty, dense front with no definition and nobody wants that. Nobody, that doesn't look weird. You're gonna have just big shoulders and no chest and no shoulder. It's just, no, 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 who does that? So you wanna hit all three heads and you want to have that full mature okay. development. So hopefully these tips helps you guys. It's a shorter video today, but we're just getting into the basics. Um, I have more training videos and more breakdown of supplements too coming up for you guys. So have a great rest of the day. Hope to see you soon.